How you doing everyone? It's Kevin. I'm back with another video. Today I'm going to be working on a jig so I can make this steak fork. But not only the steak fork, be able to use it for different projects we use them on the, for the forge. So on the forge, so we'll be able to bend some steel and twist it and do some different things with it. As you guys seen uh, a couple videos ago, I made the little uh, wrench to actually clamp on the square stock and be able to twist it. Well, this thing here is going to make it easier for me to build the steak fork. If I wanted to build multiple ones, I could build them on a jig and I could do them more, maybe make them more the same and uh, even do some different things with them with a jig. So we're going to be building a jig today uh, and we'll see how it goes. Let's check it out. Okay, what I have here is a piece of stock. This is uh, a two inch by almost eight inch, say seven and seven eighths, and that's about three eighths thick. This is about three eighths thick, and that would be about an inch and a quarter uh, solid stock. What I'm going to do is I'm going to weld this solid stock right here. And when we bring our steak fork up, we'll be able to wrap it around this. Instead of sitting there beating it out on the uh, anvil, I'll be able to get a better twist on it. And we'll be able to put this right in the vise. So, and then we're going to put in some different various holes in this piece. So we can slide another piece of stock in there and be able to twist it around each piece of stock. So let's get this guy welded on here. Let me tell you how tall that is. About an inch and seven eighths tall. Now, the last, um, let's say the last meat hook I made was made out of this steel right here. And this steel is three eighths. Oh, wait, let's see. It's 5 16 steel. So what I want is I want to draw a line across here 5 16 from this um, piece of metal here. I want a straight line across there. So we'll just lay this guy in here up above the weld. Bring it down. This is just above the weld. So we got 5 16 right there. So we're going to make a mark across here. So we know that our when we bend this, we want that we want the center of this now. And we want to split the difference. That way I can put my other pin off to the side over here. That way when you wrap it around this, then you bend it, it'll be straight. So we want it to be straight down this thing. So let's see, this is a two inch piece of stock. We'll say one inch right there. There's right down the center, right there. So there's our center mark right here. So what I want to do is I want to go over just a little bit more and I want to drill that next dowel. I want to put it in this corner right here, right in here. So I'm going to go ahead and measure this over and I'm going to drill a hole. I ain't figured out what size down I'm going to use yet. I'm going to see what I got and then I'll get you guys back here and we'll get that drilled out. Okay, I got some half inch stock here, round bar. We're going to be using it to drill. We'll do all half inch holes down through here wherever we decide we want one put. And then we'll be able to slide this down in the hole in different places so we could have a jig to use for multiple things, not just uh, a steak fork so we'll go ahead and I'll get this couple pieces of this cut and then uh, get you guys back okay now <clears throat> it's gonna be hard for you to see it I think but I got a line right there that's 3 16 from that line to the center line so a 3 8 piece of stock when you bend it back around to go straight down through there it should be pretty square with that. And then I went with a mark all the way around this, three eighths. So what I want to do is I want to center my piece up right in here, right between them two lines. So I want the center of that over here, 
That way we could bend it around and then put this pin in and then bend it straight. Okay, I got that hole drilled in there, but this one here is a little bit loose. It don't really make a difference. I think it'll be fine. I had to take the grinder and grind that a little bit because I must have got it too close to the uh, this piece here. So I ground that out a little bit and then our piece of metal will fit down in there now. So we can bend it that way and make it straight. And this way, go around this beam right here. That'll give your loop on the top to hang it with. And then, I'm just going to figure this out as I'm going. I'm going to go down on the other end and put another dowel like this down on the other end. But, you know, I took this one over the sander and sanded the uh, slag off the end of it. But if I take one that's still got the slag on it, it's actually really tight in there. So... It's a lot tighter than the other one, but I'd have to grind that one too to get this piece in there. And I don't think that's going to matter any. So I'm going to go ahead to the other side and get another hole, half inch drilled hole on the other side too. Okay, what I've done now is I put a center punch here, one half inch from this here that way I could use I could actually bend half inch stock around here on this side and I'll put a pin here and a pin here so we'll be able to do even bigger stock on this little piece so we got three eighths on this side and then half inch on this side and then we'll be able to stick half inch between here and be able to bend it between these two so we want to definitely be able to use this thing for a lot of different projects. <clears throat> okay, now I have the piece in here. This is for the half inch stock. If I wanted it to come around this and come down and be straight with that, we'll have a nice straight one there. We can pull each one of these pins out and put them anywhere we want. If we didn't want one pin somewhere, we can put it somewhere else. But we can also use this. We can bend stock around just this piece or stick it in here and twist it now this is only three eighths between here it's not going to fit half inch stock it's only going to go three eighths because our three eighths stock that went in the center here i had to leave it one uh three sixteenths from this line it's not going to be quite as big and this one's a quarter from that line from the center so it'd be half inch but it's it's close enough and like i said as we're using this little jig i can drill new holes anytime i want and space them out where i want on this piece of metal so i can do different projects with it not just a meat or a steak hook i think we should try this guy out
tell you what. <clears throat> I'll tell you what, I'm not crazy about how big this is. I think it should have been smaller. Uh, that's, I think, a little too big. So I may make another one. I got a lot of this steel. I might make another one, a smaller one, but I'll keep this one too. What we'll do now is just clean up the tip a little bit. I'm sure if you're good if you're good at that forge, you probably could get that thing razor sharp, but I'm not that great at it, so I'm going to go ahead and clean it up with the uh, belt sander. Okay, we got a pretty nice little tip. Nice little hook on there. I think this one will work out pretty good. What we'll do now is just heat it up a little bit and then we're going to take some beeswax and put it on. And the beeswax will keep it from rusting. Kind of preserve it. I've had this setting in the forge. I'm going to put a little bit of beeswax on here just to keep it from um, rusting up. Kind of preserve it. Just going to put a nice light little coat on it. That looks pretty good. All right, these were the projects we were actually working on today. This is our jig. Now, it's going to need some work, and I'm going to have to figure it out. So, it's going to take me a little time, but I think what I'm going to do is either I'm going to... I'll probably leave this one on here and just make a whole new one. They're not hard to make, and I have another piece of my metal identical to it because I cut the piece in half. So, I could actually... Uh, Make another one up with no problem at all and just keep that hole for something else. Uh, this is the meat hook. Now, I had a question for you guys. Somebody asked me for one of these and I have no clue what to charge them for it. So, what do you think? Well, that's the second um, steak hook I made. And I tried to make a jig. I think I can work this jig out. I just need to work it for a little bit and do a few on it and then figure out exactly how to use it. I may need more stakes in it somewhere else. But I like the jig for bending. Now I could bend round stock right on here or I could bend small stock. I could do a lot of different things with this uh, little uh, jig. Anyhow, the big question is how much do I charge for a meat hook? Uh, a steak hook? That I don't want to 
charge anybody, but you know, it costs me to make them. Uh, there's about 20 inches of stock here, uh, three, uh, three eight stock. There's about 20 inches. I'm pretty sure there's around 20 inches there. Uh, it took me about an hour to forge it. As you can tell, I'm not great on the forge. Um, but it does look nice. I mean, it turned out really good. Now, I can't forget that hour I'm forging, my propane's running two for an hour. So, I probably could cut the cost down if I did more than one at a time. Uh, stuck them in while one's heating, pull one out, and, you know, I could do them a little faster like that. Uh, this, I didn't buy this stock, but if I was going to build them to sell, uh, I would buy this stock because this uh, stock has rust pits in it, but that kind of stuff doesn't bother me, but I wouldn't want to sell somebody one of these steak cooks and it has rust pits in it, you know. So, uh, anyhow, I hope you guys enjoyed the video. Don't forget to subscribe. Leave me thumbs up, thumbs down, or a comment if you'd like. Now, don't forget, if you want them alerts, you got to click the bell down there to get your alerts when I put a new video out. Um, and don't forget, leave me a comment on what you think a good price for something like this would be a fair price uh, for a steak hook. Till next time.